Hello guys and welcome here to the Michigan International Raceway for race number 14 here on the Jello Cup Series season. Starting on the pole today and this is an upset pole winner. Richard Kinghart, the go or go homer, will start from the pole. Ben Crouch will start in second. Max Anderson in third. Angel Navarro in fourth. Charles Sanford will start fifth. Uh, Stephen Thompson will start sixth. Sam Curtis will start in 7th, Caitlin Sang in 8th, Joey Tip will start ninth, and the 22 Alexander Rowe will start in 10th. Let's take you to the starting lineup here from Michigan. Here we go. The pace lights are off. The pace car will peel off this time and Richard Kinghart his first pole of the season he's been on a roll lately qualifying on time and he'll lead the field to the green as we are underway from Michigan Max Anderson nearly took the lead, but unfortunately couldn't finish the job. Richard Kinghart will hold on. As men, they are three wide racing there, and Charles Sanford will come out in front of that group. Now he will set his eyes on second, as Ben Crouch will go to the outside, and he is going to probably be able to take the lead here. Ben Crouch will take the race lead. Angel Navarro now sets his eyes on second. And now the lead. But I don't think he'll be able to get it. Not this time. Richard Kinghart will hang on. Now there goes Angel Navarro now, and he will take second away. Ben Crouch still leading. Next race, beginning, or next race, and next week they start out at Iowa. So a big race weekend there, the first time these guys go to Iowa. And then they will go to Sonoma after this for the Toyota Save Mark 350. Someone's hitting the wall back there. It looks like 55, Stephen Thompson. Ben Crouch still leading, though. And yeah, next week we'll have Iowa Sonoma. Kentucky and Daytona all next week all before our mid-season break and it should be noted that coming up because Sonoma is coming up as well that is the last race before the race to the chase that means 10 more races till then 
I think it's very likely we will have 16 different winners by then. So guys like Ben Crouch right now, who's in the race lead, he's already got a win. A second win could be needed. And he knows that. But on top of it, we should add there's a battle this race for the 33rd position. The top 33 is currently a tight, tight battle. DJ Curtis is like nine points on the outside looking in. Or he's eight or nine points out. And he's battling 14 Jessica McNeilson, who's in 15th at the moment. Good run going for them which is exactly what they need to hang on to that top 33 position. As Alexander Rowe is going to look for the lead entering turn 3 and 4. He will not get it this time. Richard Kinghart gets third once again. Good day going for the 95 team. And just what they needed. As Ben Crouch will hang on on the outside. Kinghart will now go to the outside and look for second. And he should be able to get it. Back to Wills. These guys are coming into the pit lane. That'll hand the lead to Eric Faden. These five stay out. Joshua Sakali in this group. I believe he won this race last season. He would love to get back to victory lane in that number 27. But the caution is out. Thirty-eight, Tim Randolph. What was the reason for the caution? We'll go get a replay when we can. As right now, we're going to have some pit stops. Looks like Nathan Faden had a part in this wreck, too. But here come the leaders into their pit stalls. You'll see the right sides go on. And I'll bet they will change four tires. Yes, they will. Let's go see what happened. My guess 13 thought he had enough room to cut down in front of the 23 to pit. I don't think... 23 knew he was going to come in and pit, and right here, just Eli Bright maybe gets a little frustrated with the 23, takes him out, and this collects DJ Curtis, Tim Randolph, and Tim Randolph gets rear-ended by the 37. Tough break, aggressive racing, coming to the pit lane, let's take you back to the green. Getting ready for the restart. Trent Fusion is the only guy out of the race at the moment. After all that, Jackson Lynn will try and stay on the lead lap. As Angel Navarro is currently a race leader. Zach Fitzwater in second. Caitlin Sang in third. Jessica McNeilson in fourth. Max Anderson in fifth. 
Ryan Monaco 6th, Brad Stover in 7th, Eric Monaco in 8th, Ethan Lynn in 9th, and Hillary Sanchez will round out your top 10. We mentioned the, tw the 14 earlier. Needs a good run to stay in the top 33. DJ Curtis will restart in the 23rd spot. So that is good news for the 14 as they are ahead in that battle. As we are back underway here from Michigan. To the outside, here goes 20. He should have a run. We will see Zach Fitzwater to the inside. It looks like he has the lead for the time being. And in fact, he does. Zach Fitzwater to the race lead. But for how long? As the 20 is battling back on the high side with help from the 15. Angel Navarro hangs on. And Jessica McNeilson will follow and get second. Four wide for the lead. That is not going to work. And Jessica McNeilson will now set her eye, her sights on the lead. And Jackson Lynn will go down. Try and let the 20 go here. Maybe. Angel Navarro narrowly leads that lap. Three wide though. The 15 would be wise to back out. The 15 is not backing out as Angel Navarro brushes the wall. Race control telling the 15 or the 4... Yeah. Sure enough, the 14 backs out. He's like, this lap car is crazy. Angel Navarro, you can imagine, not thrilled with Jackson Lynn at the moment. Because that, that 15 nearly caused a big wreck. As we're past the halfway mark, we should have one more round of pit stops coming. Angel Navarro now going to do everything he can to get around that 15. But the 15 is not giving up. The 15 is trying to stay on the lead lap, but he is not going to give that up very easy. As you could see. And that time he dive bombs, that nearly took out the 20. Race controls tell him the 15 to calm down. But the 14 is giving a push. Sure enough, he'll back out, not quite. The 15 is going to get wrecked the way he's racing, but do you blame him? He wants to stay on that lead lap so bad. But at the same time, he's having a major impact on the battle for the lead. Angel Navarro hits the wall again. He's going to have some repairs to do. Now the 15 will pit. And these guys have a tight battle. Jessica McNeilson nearly hit the 20. And that time at the line, Jessica McNeilson leads. Jessica McNeilson to the race lead. And just what she needed a bonus point. The last thing DJ Curtis wanted to see today. And now they will come to the pit lane in Eric Monaco will likely take the race lead if he does not pit. And he will. So Joshua Sakali to the race lead with Ethan Lynn behind.
10 laps to go, though. Anything can happen. Now here comes the 27 to the pits. Right sides go on for the 27. Will they play the pit strategy? Looks like they go four tires and they pack it full. Jessica McNeilson leads that group off the pit lane. And she will go to the race lead. McNeilson cycles out the race leader. Joshua Sakali trying everything he can to get up to speed. He's going to need another half lap or so to do that. Oh, McNeilson hits the 37. And she's got damage. Oh, that is not good for them. They're off the pace with that damage. They are way off the pace with the damage. Leaders are going 202 into the corner. She's barely hitting 195, 196. And Zach Fitzwater will look for the lead. He is a go or go homer. So not much to fight for here except for momentum and Zach Fitzwater to the lead with six laps of racing to go in an unfortunate turn of events as Angel Navarro will now look for second. He should be able to get it. Jessica McNeilson can't hold the same speed with the damage. And she knows if she comes to the pit lane, it's over. So, she's just going to have to try and limp it to the finish and hope that the damage won't have too much of an effect on her finishing result. Zach Fitzwater has done enough damage, he's got the lead by three tenths of a second over these guys. Now the question is, can anyone catch the 43 and make a move in time? Angel Navarro will try. But the seven back there, Ethan Lynn, he's in chase contention too. This would be big for them to get a good result of the small race team as Angel Navarro to the inside. He doesn't have the momentum. Oh, this is going to be an interesting battle to end the week. Jessica McNeilson to the high side. 
Maybe the damage isn't impacting her as much as we think. Jessica McNeilson looking for the lead side by side. Two laps to go, or three laps to go, rather. Zach Fitzwater leads at that time, but he's going to get overtaken. Angel Navarro's got the high line, too. This could benefit him. Three wide for second. Ethan Lynn will get it. Ben Crouch back here too with Luis Hernandez and two laps to go. Can McNeilson hang on with the heavy damage? She's just got to block. That's all she's got to do. To the inside though, here goes Ethan Lynn. Ben Crouch had to pit three wide. Looks like maybe no. White flag is out though. One lap of racing to go for Jessica McNeilson. She has to go up high to block the seven. Here we go, it's going to be a drag race down the back stretch. Ethan Lynn's going to look to the inside again. Off turn four, I think she's got it. Jessica McNeilson, with all the adversity entering this race, she is going to win it at Michigan. And she stays in the top 33. But it all depends on where DJ Curtis crossed the line. Either way, he's going to be a multiple amount of points back. 34th for DJ Curtis with damage. He must have gotten hit. So she keeps hold of the top 33. Gets a win in the, prog in the process. And maybe could move closer to the chase. We want to thank you for watching. We're going to show your results and standings, and we'll see you at Iowa. Goodbye, everyone.